now that we've read the nursery rhyme, let's talk a little bit about the character Mary. Mary has a pet lamb that follows her everywhere, even to her school. Can you imagine that? So have you ever had a pet follow you around or have you ever seen a pet that has followed someone else around before? Well, when you can think of something that happened to you or someone you know, that is the same as something that happened to a character in a story, that's called a connection. When you make connections to characters, it helps you understand the story a little bit better. Let's talk about pets. So if you lived in the city, you might have a pet like a dog or a cat. But if you lived in the country, you might have a pet like a pig or a farm animal. Well, Mary's pet was a lamb. She had a pet lamb. And so today we're gonna write a sentence about that. Our sentence is going to say, Mary had a pet lamb. Are you ready to write with me? Make sure you have something to write on so you can write that sentence. Now, before we start writing, let's clap out those words to get our brains ready to write. Here we go, clap it out with me. Mary had a pet lamb. Let's count out those words. Mary had a pet lamb. There are five words in that sentence. Now, before we start, start writing the words, let's draw some lines on our paper to remind us that there's spaces between our words. Here we go. Mary had a pet lamb. All right, now we're ready to write. The first word in our sentence is going to need a capital letter because we always start our sentence with a capital. The first word is the word Mary, the character's name. Let's stretch it out. M, air, e. Mary, there are three sounds in the word Mary. What sound do you hear at the beginning of that word? That's right, an M. Let's do a capital M, start at the top, go down, back up, slant down, slant up, slant down. M, air. The next sound is the air sound. A and R work together to make the air sound, like in the word care. Let's write it. Start in the middle, make a C, close it, and go down. Let's make an R. Start in the middle, slide down, back up, and around. Mary. Now it sounds like an E at the end of that word, but it's actually a Y. Sometimes the letter Y says the long E sound. Let's start in the middle, slant down, back up, and all the way down. I'm going to make my line a little bit longer there. It's been a little bit shorter. Okay, let's read what we have so far. Mary had. Let's stretch out the word had. Add. Had. What sound do you hear at the beginning of that word? Yes, an H. Start at the top, go down, back up, and make a hump. Ah, that's an A. Start in the middle, around like a C, go up and go down. Ha, add. What sound do you hear at the end of that word? Yes, the D. Start in the middle, make a C, go up and go down. Okay, let's read what we have so far. Mary had a. The word a is just a plain A. Let's write it. Make a C, close it and go down. All right, let's read what we have. Mary had a pet. Let's stretch out that word. Stretch it out with me. Pet. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the word pet? Yes, a P. Let's start in the middle, slide down, back up, and around. Pet. What vowel do you hear in that word? An E. Good. Start in the middle, slide over, up, and around like a C. Pet. We hear a T at the end of that word. Start at the top, slide down, back up, and slide to the right. We're almost there, let's read our sentence. Mary had a pet lamb. Let's stretch out the word lamb. Uh, eh, mm. The first sound is uh, that's an L. Start at the top and go straight down. Uh, eh. What vowel do you hear in that word? Yes, an A. Start in the middle, make a C, close it, and go down. Oh, eh, mm. What sound do you hear at the end of that word? Yes, that's an M. Start in the middle, go down, back up, make a hump, make a hump. 
Now the word lamb has a silent letter at the end. It actually has a B at the end. Like the word comb sounds like an M, but it also ends with a silent B. Let's do that. Let's write a B. Start at the top, go down, back up, then around. Don't forget, we need a punctuation mark at the end of our sentence to tell our readers it's the end. Let's put a period. Great work. Now we're ready to read it. Take your finger and point under each word as you read. Mary had a pet lamb. Great job. Now we just need a picture to match. Go ahead and draw a picture to match your sentence. I'm gonna draw a picture of Mary's cute little lamb that she had. Great job today. You wrote a sentence. Make sure to read it to someone at home. This program is made possible in part by the Michigan Department of Education, the state of Michigan, and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Additional support by, and by viewers like you. Thank you.